Morning everyone, welcome to our channel. We are Holiday with the Heathers. For all of you that are new here, I am Jess. My husband Wayne is currently in bed at the moment. He's having a little bit of a lie-in. I myself have had a lie-in because today I have a busy day. I have a hospital appointment. So we are back to vlogging, which is really exciting. So at the end of this video, if you have enjoyed it, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you love our channel and you have enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button. We would really appreciate it. And please could you also hit the notification bell, which is somewhere here or here, I can never remember. So I am going to freshen myself up a little bit more. I just wanted to jump on camera quickly. I've still got to um, brush my teeth and do a couple of other little bits before I continue with this vlog. So I'll be back with you after this intro. Hi, we're Holiday with the Heathers. We are a married couple who have been lucky enough to have travelled to over 20 destinations over the past eight years, experiencing the culture and cuisine the world has to offer. Although the world has come to a standstill, you can still follow our life's journey by watching our weekly vlogs. We know the prospect of travel is uncertain. We don't know where, we don't know when, but we will fly again someday. So I've just finished getting dressed. I feel great now. <laughs> I had like 15 minutes to like sort my hair out, have a quick wash, um, because the ambulance transport could arrive any time from now. I think it's about half 11, I think. Um, so I'm gonna relax on the chair with a little Trevi. Trevi, do you wanna say hello to YouTube? Nope. Trevi loves just lying in the sun. It's quite a nice day today. So I am going to go and prepare myself um, a pack lunch for the day because I don't know how long I'm going to be there. I know my appointment only takes about 15 minutes, but they can pick me up up to two hours before and take me home up to two hours after. I think Wayne may have made me something. Sometimes when he knows I've got a long appointment, he does surprise me by doing lovely little things like that. I did want to say one thing quickly. You're probably wondering where my dialysis catheter is. Well, the pharmacy has had a shortage on dressings recently. I've been waiting for nearly three weeks for my usual dressings for Wayne to pick them up um, from the pharmacy. And um, because I'm still shielding at the moment, so Wayne tries his best to not go out the house as often as he can but there's no one else who can really pick my prescriptions up for me so Wayne kindly does that. So they've given me these dressings, well the district nurses have supplied them and they're absolutely see-through so I kind of feel like a little bit like my old self again so I'm really really pleased I can feel like it's not being drawn attention to. Obviously I'm gonna have a massive coat and a cardigan on because it's still freezing outside but you can probably see it's Unless you're like looking up close, it just looks like my skin. But there's like the entrance site where the bandage used to go up to. I've had a nasty reaction today, but that's just normal. My skin seems to get irritated. But it's really clear. There's the actual um, entrance site to the um, catheter. But yeah, I'm really pleased. I can feel like me again. I think they'll come in handy when I'm wearing tops like this if we go back to Florida. Whenever we get to go back to Florida or anywhere if the weather's nice. And if I'm going on a night out or to dinner and I want to wear something that's a little more low cut, yeah, so I can feel a little bit like me again. So I think we should go and check in the fridge to see if Wayne surprised me with anything, knowing Wayne he probably has. Yeah, I was right, he has. So let's see what he's in. Um, sorry for the state of my fridge, everybody. Um, he's put it in my old, like, wear bag. And he's even taken it out because the last time I checked, this was all for. Yeah. He's done me a little snack of a few things. I think it's like a wrap and a sandwich. <laughs> oh my god. So, <laughs> how do I explain this? So this is the token of love from Wayne. But it's actually him lecturing me when he's not around. So, whenever I eat food, because I only get to have small amounts, I do have a habit of like shoveling it down my throat. So he's kindly wrote me a little note saying small bites with a little love heart 
<laughs> Who knows, as soon as I open this, it'll be gone within five minutes. But the repercussions of eating food fast is that I will probably be vomiting for the rest of the day. So you've got to love them, you really have. That's just so cute. I love that. I'm going to put that back in there. Um, but yeah, he's packed me things that he knows I can have. I can't have crisps and things still, so I kind of eat things that are low in calories and low in fat. But he's even packed me some little... Oh, he's packed me some petty flu yogurts and a spoon. Because I can't really eat much, like, heavy dairy at the moment. So he's done me a sandwich and he's packed me some yogurts with a little spoon. Oh my god, he's so cute. <laughs> I'm actually going to leave that out so I don't forget it. Morning, Milo. I'm in the ambulance, ready to go. Now, were you in going to Green Zone or whereabouts? I don't know. I'll have to check my letter. I'll just have a quick look. But I'm blessed Didn't know it take me past my destiny You're behind me with the rest Cause I'm a mess No more you As I expected, they won't allow me to wait in there, so I'm currently waiting in the middle of a hospital um, corridor with no protection, no where to wait, no seats. So I'm expected to wait here for an hour standing up, which is not good because I'm disabled. <laughs> but luckily, I've just flagged down a doctor and it turns out she is the lady who is performing my ECG anyway. So someone's on my side today so she's just gone upstairs to find out if i can have my appointment early because she's had a cancellation so fingers crossed i can go in because it's no one's fault it's just the way things are at the moment but there's not very many places in hospitals to for people like me to wait so they're protected so it's just another one of those moments where you have to just smile and grin and bear it so this is why I'm raising awareness for people with disabilities because I've been picked up an hour and a half early. I've been dropped off an hour early for my appointment. There's nowhere safe for me to wait where I'm protected from COVID patients basically or germs. So let's hope that this lady can see me early. So the doctor's just come to get me and I'm going for my appointment. Yay! <laughs> this doesn't always happen so someone is watching over me today so thank you nhs angels i will see you after my appointment guys because i'm not going to film in there just for um protection and data protection and confidentiality so i'll see you soon
I was going to say, you were like, you're home a lot earlier than what I thought. You've got some posts in here, by the way. I'm not going to lie, it was a bit of a disaster. I'll explain that to you later. They already know what happened, but yeah. there was nowhere for me to wait or shield. But luckily, I grabbed this lady in the corridor who happened to be the lady who was doing my epic... <laughs> Can't even speak. Echocardiogram. Echocardiogram. Mm. And I was done and I was actually home within like 10 minutes of my appointment. So I'm pleased. Yeah, I was going to say, you're home a lot earlier than what I thought you What did you say about the post? You've got some post here. It looks important. So It I could be the shielding letter. So well, I'll have a look. So I've just arrived back, as you can see. Um, I did get something in the post, um, which is a bit disheartening, but I want to stay safe. So it's basically my clinical letter. I've shielded all of the... Um, information shielded all of the information i've hidden all of the information wayne's gonna kill me because he's currently trying to watch football so i'll do this really quick so he can carry on watching who is it you're watching uh southampton chelsea yeah so he's oh, actually he's got about two and a half minutes left of um normal time. normal time so it just says that i have to continue shielding till the 31st of march which i'm going to continue shielding till the 30th of april anyway because that's when I have my second vaccine. So it is what it is. I feel rubbish on Wayne because he wants to be able to actually get out and do things. But we'll see. Rules and regulations change all the time. So I'm going to chill. I think Wayne's going to have his lunch. What have you got for lunch today? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. I've had my little lunch, which was lovely, by the way. It was delicious. So I just wanted to give you... Um, a little explanation as to why I went to the hospital today. So for about three or four years now, I've had a few problems with collapsing for no reason, um, heart palpitations, low blood pressure, and they've been constantly re-questioning a condition called POTS. Now, I can't pronounce the abbreviation for POTS, so I'll put it here, what it actually means. I know a lot of you watching probably know about POTS or you even may have POTS or someone you know in your family or close circle of friends may have it. I know a lot of people who actually do have it. It's quite a common condition. But over the past three or four weeks, I've been collapsing a lot and quite a few of my appointments have been cancelled because of um transport not arriving on time or i've been way too poorly to go or my plasma exchange had to be put first just lots of lots of different reasons but i went for something called an epic <laughs> gosh i went for something called an echocardiogram which is kind of like an ultrasound of your heart so when i arrived at the hospital the um, lady who performed it put, um, oh gosh, what's it called? It's like the solution that they use to give you an ultrasound, like that jelly stuff. So she put it all over my chest, all in between my breasts, underneath my left breast and um, my neck. And she scanned the area. It took about 25 minutes to do the whole procedure. And she um, was basically recording my four valves of my heart, my large vessel that's in my neck, including the valve that goes to my heart and a load of other things that I don't really understand. Um, cardiology isn't my forte. So I was very, very quick. Now I'm home and I have a 72 hour tape, which I've had before 
which is kind of like a monitor, a heart monitor that I've got to wear for three days. I wear it while I sleep and it basically monitors the arrhythmia of my heart. It's kind of like an ECG, but I wear it for 72 hours. Then I will give that back to the um, hospital. I have to collect that on the 5th of March, then I'll give that back and then on the 9th of March I do have an appointment with a cardiologist. So I presume that is when I will get all of the information. Now for years they have been suggesting that I do have POTS um, for lots of other reasons. Um, I always seem to have really irregular ECGs and really low blood pressure and a lot of that at the moment could be explained because of the way I've been feeling and anxiety is a big factor as well so that can sometimes give you false readings. So it's Saturday afternoon now, um, you would have seen earlier in the vlog that Jessica uh, had a busy day today going to the hospital so she's just in the bedroom at the moment on the computer doing a few things for a campaign so I thought I'd use this time to pop on and just let you know what the plan is today and what we're doing in the evening. For those of you that don't know, in July last year, my brother and I managed to get a sneak, sneaky trip to Lanzarote. Um, it was just after the corridor, you know, the, the government announced that there was a, an air corridor and we could go to different countries providing there was in that air corridor. Just after lockdown had finished as well. So it had been booked for about a year beforehand. So it was just a coincidence that the corridor opened and lockdown stopped just before we went. So we managed to sneak a quick trip into Lanzarote. So my brother and I went, we didn't vlog it because we're still quite new to YouTube and I wasn't sure if my brother would want to be on YouTube. I think it'd be pretty boring just me on my own because I wasn't sure how my brother would handle it. On our five day trip there, we spent time in a bar called Sunset Beach Lanzarote. This bar was run by a British couple, or British family I should say. Um, cheap beers, cheap food, all British food. Lovely laid back, relaxing atmosphere brilliant music it was just a really nice bar to sit have a few beers and just watch the sunset it was really good and my brother and I found ourselves there pretty much every night for those five nights was there and every night about nine o'clock in the evening they had a music quiz and prizes were t-shirts free meals um, bottles of vodka and stuff like that and out of those five nights me and my brother attended we won four of them but it's just a really nice laid-back atmosphere it was just really chilled, nice. Obviously, due to um, obviously the coronavirus, there was only like 20% of the actual uh, restaurants and bars open in Lanzarote, but there wasn't many holiday makers, so it was pretty evened out sort of thing. There was enough to go around for everyone. So um, I followed them on Facebook, and I've been good friends with them ever since. Um, and they've decided now to do a Facebook Live musical quiz. Now, to cut a long story short, they have had to close at 6 p.m. every evening now due to COVID and the Spanish laws. So, to ensure that they still hold the music quiz, they do it online on Facebook Live every Saturday. And they're going to continue doing this until obviously they can open later than 6. So, I thought tonight me and Jess could maybe get a little bit dressed up, have a few drinks and take part in the quiz. Uh, we're not really fussed if we win or not, it's just a nice bit of fun, something to look forward to and get excited about. So we'll be taking part in that tonight. Jessica did message him briefly on WhatsApp, no, on Facebook, sorry, just to make sure that they're okay with us recording and they said it's fine. So I'm sure we'll um, show you some of the footage and I'll, we'll let you know how we got on. So we've just stopped on our walk for a hot chocolate to warm our coffee. Jess has nearly polished hers <laughs> off. I've still got mine left. Uh, how do you feel? Nice and warm now? It's the first time I've saw humans uh, yeah. in so long. Yeah. Fair enough, I stayed well out of the way of the shops and um, Wayne went there on his own. But today after going to the hospital and actually being out, it was so lovely to see like actual human beings for a change. So one more month and then that's it. Yep. I'm let loose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so the plan was we wasn't intending to get these, but it's so cold out. Finished. <laughs> yeah. It's so cold out, we had to sit down and warm ourselves up. So we're going to finish this off and then go back home and get ready for the quiz. As you can 
can see, right, we've got a carnival theme quiz going on, right? Yeah. So I'm Batman, right? I'm Batman, right? And Jamie. And I'm Robin. Jamie's Robin. Things have got so bad here. Look at how much weight Robin's lost. <laughs> <laughs> see his skin and bones, all right? So this is my outfit because I'm Batman, right? Woo -woo. He's like, yeah, I'm just going to Okay, right, so, uh, welcome everybody, good evening, and welcome to Sunset Beach's Carnival Quiz. Right, yo, guys, so I'm going to put on some music. Right, 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 video my brain fog is horrendous and um, we're so sorry for not vlogging yesterday and um, we didn't really have much to record to be honest and um, I would have been busy editing parts of this vlog and 
um, responding to people because if you aren't aware on Sunday the 20th of February this Sunday is rare disease day in the UK and all over the world I'm not sure if it's rare disease week but if you've seen my Instagram stories I've been completely shoving it all down your throats I just want to raise awareness for people like myself with rare conditions and I just want to thank everyone that's got involved sent me videos and I really really appreciate all of your support so today Wayne and I have decided to do some exercise I'm sick of being in that house and obviously we all found out yesterday that if you are shielding we've now got to shield till the 31st of March which is fine we're not complaining what do you think of the roadmap are you happy with it well Boris announced that from the 17th of May that's the possibility of when traveling could resume. I know you bring that up, it's the most important thing isn't that's, it? That's when the possibility of traveling could resume, it's not a definite yet. Now for, you, for those of you that don't know, we don't fly till uh, the 24th of May to Disney uh, well, do we? Yeah. So we've got a week window where Ooh, we could maybe still go. I mean up until a few days ago we sort of ruled it out didn't we and thought we won't be going but it's just given us a, like a glimmer of hope hasn't it? I don't know what I'm nodding for, no yeah. I don't know whether we'll be going. I mean we're still not 100% sure, I mean it all depends on the whole this roadmap pans out but before Boris announced it we just assumed we wasn't going and we sort of come to terms with that. Now obviously Boris has come out and said the possibility of travel won't happen until at least the 17th. It's sort of given us a little bit of hope again hasn't it? So. If we don't go, it's not the end of the world because at the end of the day, safety comes first and it all depends on whether um, President Biden opens the yeah, borders as well. Yeah. Um, and it gives us a chance to save more money. And I would like to go possibly after the 50th anniversary. For anyone who doesn't know, it's Disney's 50th anniversary. So the celebrations are going to be absolutely it's amazing. It's an 18-month celebration, isn't there? Yeah. So. And the later we leave it as well, there's more chance we'll be able to see the fireworks and, and things the like Disney that. And the Disney dining plan. The dining plan as well, yeah. If anyone doesn't know Wayne properly, two of his major loves are food and travel. Yeah. Not me. No. Oh, I'm Man United. He loves Man um, United. So, just before we start our proper walk, um, we come down to our local lakes. We wasn't sure if it was open or not. I did message him on Facebook uh, three days ago, but no one replied back. So, we've taken the chance and walked down here, and it's open, and there's loads of people walking around with their dogs. And, you not know, that many. Well, there's, there's yeah. more than what I imagined. So, we know it's open, so we know it's safe, and we know we're allowed to. Right, we're going to go because um, the dogs are hungry. The dogs are hungry, and I need to stretch my legs. So, we'll see you in a bit. So, as just said, we've made it to the park. So, here's our local park. We've got two lakes. We're not doing both lakes because it'll take it out of Jess. So, we're just doing the smaller of the lakes, the North Lake. And that predominantly has the most ducks and wildlife. So, we're going to take that one anyway. It normally takes us about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to walk around. So, we're going to do that, then head back. So I'll just quickly show you the view. This is the South Lake, this is the bigger lake, which we're not actually doing today. Because like I mentioned earlier, it's a bit too much for it's Jess. No chance. So there you can see it's full of ducks and geese, swans and other little birds. But like I said, we're not doing this lake, we're doing the smaller lake, which is the other side of the road. So um, yeah, it should be... Uh, oh, look at this little one. It should, oh no, look at those geese. Yeah, so it should be a nice day out. We've just noticed the size of these fish. Are they caught? I don't know. I, I assume they would be, but I don't know. But they're massive, aren't they? Like sharks? Oh my gosh, look at them on the camera. Yeah, there's more than that. There's at least 10. They literally have come out of nowhere because when you were filming over there a minute ago, I did not see them. Yeah. They are huge. Look at that one. Yeah. So. Whoa. So this is the North Lake, it's a smaller lake uh, and as I told you earlier it does have to see, it just seems to have more ducks and geese than that. that was Jess feeding a, a very young geese, a goose I should say. It's full of gold today. Yep, so we're gonna. Wow, that was massive. Yeah. Oh wait, look at that too. 
There's a cute little doggy over there as well. So yeah, we're going to feed these and uh, vlog as much as we can for you. Wow. <laughs> as you can see, we've become rather popular all of a sudden. And that might have something to do with the loaf of bread Jess is holding. But all the birds are acting very mad today. Look at them. Fighting and arguing and squawking. Like an absolute Italian. <laughs> and then there's another another load over there with some else, someone else feeding. They seem to be very hungry today. You know, this is one of my favourite pastimes. My mum and dad used to take me to a place called Birkenhead Park and um, we'd feed the ducks all the time. I think we've got childhood videos actually. Growing up as a kid, I was always down here. Uh, it's like the only, it was a cheap day out, wasn't it? You get, a, you get a hot chocolate or a can of Coke from the restaurant, a loaf of bread, and I was any ones at the time, you know. When we eventually have little ones, I can't wait to bring them down here. Yeah. Right, I've got our bread now, bread now, geese. You had enough. Really. Now let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. This sign, pregnant sheep ahead. Very random. We need to put your lead on then, Wayne. Yeah, fine. I had to get that <laughs> in there before you said that. Um, Jess is taking me under some weird, dark, scary viaduct. So if I don't make it the other end, it's been nice knowing you, YouTube. He's full of rubbish. We've walked under this so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that. Yeah. Hello. You do it. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it stinks under here. Yeah, let's get out of here. It's not as pleasant as we thought. No. <laughs> we found the pregnant sheep. They're all lying in this little field. I'll give you a better view over there. of all of the pregnant sheep and hopefully in a month or two we'll have loads of little lammies so that's it for today guys we've done a really lovely walk we fed the ducks we've had a few rogue dogs chase after me <laughs> trying to eat and bread and a few rogue geese and a few rogue geese um, so yeah, so we're going to end the vlog here. Just to remind you all again, it's Rare Disease Day this Sunday, the 28th of February. If you'd like to get involved, it's not too late, please inbox me. If you'd like me to share your post, or you'd like me to share your story, anything personal to you, I'm happy to share it. I'll be posting all week and all day on Sunday, so please get involved. We're not scary, are we? Nice people. If you've got something you want to talk about, if it's past 11 o'clock, he'll have a go at me. I have to start turning my phone off. But yeah, please DM me and get in touch if you just want a friend or someone to talk to. And yeah, that's it really. So thank you for watching our vlog and we will see you next week. Bye!